Hey, we're shaking homies. Today I got another 3D printer video for you guys, but instead of a review, I'm going to be doing a slight tutorial. So this is my FL Sun Complete, and I need to replace the FEP film on it. This is an SLA it's like DLP 3D printer, and in this resin bag here, I accidentally got a print stuck to it, and then when I went to get it off, I poked a small hole in it. So I ordered a replacement, it was only 10 bucks. so I recommend if you have one of these types of printers, get a bunch of replacement stuff. I'll put some links in the description. I got this off eBay, but you can get stuff on Amazon too. Um, the eBay one, the guy lived like right by my house, so I actually got this within 24 hours with the cheapest shipping, so that's why I picked the eBay. This is Dale Calhoun, so shout out to him. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the same for any resin printer, but this is the FL Sun Complete, or same thing as the Micromake L2. But if you have a WANHOW D7 or whatever, it's all the same process. So I'm going to adjust the camera, put on some gloves, and let's do it. All right, homies. So this is actually extremely easy. If you've ever changed a head on a drum set, uh, it's extremely, you know, very similar. So here's the film itself. It comes in a little baggy. This guy, he packaged it in like four boxes. Uh, I highly recommend buying for this guy off eBay. It's like $10 a sheet or like 15 for two or something. I'll put a link. Uh, in the description, but yeah, so you're just gonna take all these Allen wrenches out. So I last time I did this I stripped one these strip real easy if you've ever had the resin harden Under here like I did it, it the resin can harden in here and it's like Loctite and then there's these are cheap screws So next time I do this actually next time I go to the hardware store I'm gonna buy all new screws for this and replace these with better screws But for right now, I'm just gonna keep using these ones. So I'm gonna fast forward me taking these all out and we'll be right back Okay, now all the screws are out, so this is just like a gasket, basically. Just uh, like a metal gasket thing. So you're gonna wanna clean this with some rubbing alcohol. Notice there's trace resin all over it. This is why I'm wearing the gloves. And uh, it's funny because I have uh, the studio light on and my, the gloves are getting hot because the resin's actually curing from the stupid studio lights. So be careful when you're messing with this stuff. And the way this goes on, it's extremely simple. Like, we're just gonna put the whole sheet on, smash this down, and then we're gonna tighten the screws in a star pattern, like how you do a drum set, how you do like, or like a tire. You know, like when you do a, a drum set, if you do them, because this is basically a lot like how a drum head is. And if you do them all in a circle, it'll make wrinkles, and it can actually rip, and it just won't be perfectly tight. So it's really simple. You just go like cross, 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 and then you just start eyeballing, and you just keep going across from each other until it's done, and you just work your way around it. So I'm going to clean this off all really good with rubbing alcohol, like clean, clean the crap out of everything. And uh, we'll be right back. Alright homies, it's back. Uh, I got it all cleaned up pretty darn good. Uh, it's still a little wet, but that's not going to really matter too much. Okay, so yeah, this is extremely easy, like way easier, because this is actually the second time I've done this. And uh, yeah, I think it's actually kind of cool. Like. When I had, or when I first started doing all my 3D printers, I used to always like break them and have to learn how to fix them. And that's actually like how I learned about my 3D printers were always because I'm an idiot and I'd get like, I'd have a couple too many drinks and I'd start playing with it and then I'd break it. And then the next day I'd be like, what did I do? And I'd figure out like how I broke it first and play like CI, like, I don't know, CSI and <laughs> to figure out like how I broke it and then how to fix it. And it was kind of fun. And now I kind of like know everything, not everything, but enough to like, fix all that crap whenever I want to. So this is like cool to me. It's like, I'm gonna, I need to learn more about this because I'm a total noob, you know, and I feel like breaking it and fixing it and that's how you learn. But anyways, enough rambling. So here I got this, you just basically just lay it on here. Okay, now th this is extremely easy. Like I said before, you're just gonna push this, smash this thing down, like really hard. And you're gonna try to like, you see how I got my fingers in the corners? I'm gonna try to like, I'm gonna like, Stand up and put some put some weight in there. Okay, now that we got it smashed down, I'm gonna try to like smash the sides and just get everything down. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a little screwdriver or a paper clip or something. You actually don't. You just want it to be a small hole because you want the 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 wrap to wrap into the threads of the screw. So it when it twists. It gets like stuck in there and it pulls it tighter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go into this one of these little holes and 
I'm gonna make sure it's pushed down really good, and I'm gonna make a little hole. And I'm gonna go, just like that. that, that's it, that's all there is to it. Okay, then I'm gonna take a screw, I'm gonna put it in there, and remember there's like, you know, some of this wrap in there, so you gotta like give it some force when you first get it started, just get it going. And I'm gonna get it most of the way down, but I'm not gonna crank it. Like I'm not gonna get it where I, at the end I'm gonna go around all of them and crank them as hard as I can. But I'm just gonna go pretty darn tight. So I'll go like right there, like right where I'm feeling quite a bit of resistance. Okay, now that one's right there, so then I'm gonna go complete opposite. So I'm gonna go all the way to this corner. So I'm gonna smash this one down really good. And I'm gonna poke a hole. And just like that, easy does it. And same, whoa, shoot, got my gloves stuck in there. The reason I'm wearing the gloves once again is because there is still trace, right? Even though I cleaned everything off. And also too, you don't want to get fingerprints on this because getting your fingerprints on it can actually like, mess this stuff up. This is like, I don't know. I don't know, it can just help, it can like deteriorate. You're not supposed to get oils on it. The oil, I don't know, it just, it just will mess it up a little. You don't want to get the oils on your hands on there. Um, okay, so now that I went boom, boom. Okay, now I'm gonna go here and here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back this way. You know, and every time you go to a new spot, like, well, at the beginning at least anyways, you wanna kind of give it like a nice pull and smash it down. You know, give it the old smash a Rooney. Boom. Okay. Once again, same thing. And boom, boom, boom. Start on my clock. I always forget to turn that off. Every time I film in my kitchen, I'm like, I gotta turn that clock off because it's gonna make that noise every freaking half hour. And they, they, like, you gotta either just like take the battery out of the clock, or that's it. Because if you just know it's like starting to turn it off, it's so stupid. I hate that clock. But you know what they say: happy wife is a happy life, right? Girlfriend loves that clock. Okay, so then from there, we're gonna go to here. Bada bing, bada boom. And forget about it. No problem. Right there. Okay, so we're looking pretty, 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 pretty good. Okay, we're turning out pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go like something like here to here, here to here, there to there, there. You know what I mean? So uh, this video is gonna be way too long if I just do this. So the rest of this is I'm gonna fast forward. So we're gonna fast forward the clip, and I'll see you when I'm all done. Okay guys, so now they're all on there. So now I'm just gonna go back around them and just give them all a good tighten. Just kind of like, you know, about the star pattern type. You know, just give them not, you know, not where I'm like, they're gonna risk stripping them or anything. Just make sure they're all nice and snug. And now that I got most of them, I can kind of just go wherever. I'm not gonna, I'm not, re I'm re basically just, you know, like making sure none of them are real loose. I'm not really cranking them or anything. So, you know, I'd say that's, that's about good enough, okay? You'll notice there's no wrinkles in it. That's what you're looking for. Hopefully that light reflection is kind of giving you the right idea. Okay, so now all I gotta do is take a razor blade and just go around it and I got the other thing all cleaned up, so I'm actually gonna just replace this tape on here. I'm just gonna use electrical tape, um, cause it's coming up now. So I'm gonna replace this tape, and uh, I'll do that off camera, but I'll show you guys how to cut this. So I'll go get a knife, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I just got a utility knife. So this is basically, you know, kind of self-explanatory. You just go around it, and you just cut off the excess. You know, making sure not to accidentally slip and hit the other part. Cut away from yourself, you know, obviously. 
it's actually real easy to cut. You don't have to get it perfect either. Like it's okay if there's a little, a little hanging off. It's not gonna, you know, not gonna matter too much. You just kind of don't want like a ton of excess, more than anything. So here, it's just like I only have like a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of go like that actually. I can kind of pull that off. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't cut through it enough. There we go. There we go. And, uh, yeah, let me get this corner. Come on. So this actually works better, just put it here. If you don't mind messing up your blade, the blades are cheap. And, there we go. Okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty good. Maybe a little, a little more right here. Clean that up a little more. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Come on. There we go. All right, good. Cool. Good to go. So let me do the tape, reinstall that, and uh, make sure it prints, and we'll be good. Okay, guys. As you can see, we are working good now. So the new resin vat is installed. Once again, this is my FL son. Same printer as the Micromake L2. Um, I believe it's currently, as of filming this, out of stock, but it should be back in stock at GearBest real soon. Put a link in the description if you want to check this out. This is my definitely my favorite 3D printer. Um, this resin printing is just so fun. So, thanks for watching, and I hope that helped, and I'll see you guys next time.